everybody, this is Leia, and we are here today for a daily reading of Insightful Messages. For the week of June 30th through July 6th, we are using Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Archangel Power Tarot cards, those on the left right there, and I already did a review on these in case you find that you're connecting with them as we do the reading, so take a look at the link in the description to see the review that I've done. And we're also using Doreen Virtue and Melissa Virtue's Angel Dreams Oracle cards, which is the deck on the right. We're pulling one card from each deck per day. The cards were shuffled and picked at random prior to filming with the intention that the most helpful ones are what reveal themselves to us. While the messages that come up will reflect what's currently going on for some of you, I find that it's more helpful to approach this as inspiration or food for thought, rather than taking it as a forecast. That said, let's see what Spirit wants to tell us today. Hi there, and welcome to your reading for July 3rd, Thursday. Our Archangel Power Tarot card for today is... Queen of Gabriel. Passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people. And our Angel Dreams card is Summer. Taking action, fruition, intellect. Very clearly, our message from these two cards together involves inspired action. This is different from just regular action in that inspired action comes from the intent to accomplish a goal that excites us. Regular action, on the other hand, could be done simply out of habit or out of logic because it appears to make sense to do something, whether we are passionate about it or not. When we come from a place of inspiration, these are the moments in life we can't wait to get out of bed. We want to work on whatever project it is we're currently involved in because it makes our heart sing. For some viewing this video, this could be guidance to find that place inside of you again. There's no need to go through life with no hope that we'll ever feel impassioned or consumed again with so much fire for a pursuit or activity. As long as we are alive, there's hope. Circumstances can change. However, it is necessary for us to shift within, for our outside reality to reflect what we are feeling and thinking. I know it seems like that question, you know, that one, what came first, the chicken or the egg, where we have no idea how this huge change we want can come about if we feel like we have no current source of inspiration to begin with. But just remember, there's this formula. It's be, do, have. In order to have something, for instance, like the job or relationship of our dreams, what attracts this to us is us already being the person we think this dream could help us become and doing the things we want this dream to help us do more of. So, for example, and this is just an example to make it more relatable. Okay, so let's say I want my ideal relationship to manifest into my life so that I can be happy and do all these activities I've always wanted to do with my dream mate, like travel more and marinate myself in culture and the arts. What I could do is to work on being happy now instead of waiting for that person to come into my life to make me happy and to already go to places I've always wanted to visit to start traveling now. Being this person is actually what will attract my goal of finding the mate who's best suited to me, certainly more than moping about it ever could. And like I said, that's just an example to make it clearer. So that's our food for thought on inspired action for today. And that concludes today's reading. Thank you so much for joining me, and if you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you always see future videos the moment they're uploaded. I have weekly and monthly readings on this channel too, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't yet. Until next time, take very good care of yourself. I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now and namaste!